Hello there, Mark G. David of Kerry Ellison. ISP Theta Pro, the Michael Sweet version. Ah, yes, loving this thing. Sounds great in the studio. Picked up this several months ago, did a video that I posted on YouTube, going through some of the presets, some of the tones, sampling it. And since then, I've been seeing a lot of people ask, how do you change presets, copy presets, change the name, and then save all that information? It's actually pretty easy. Most of us don't have time to read the owner's manual that comes with the product. So today we're going to go through it a little bit and see if I can help offer some assistance to you. So as you see, we're on the home screen, Sweet Theta Pro version 3.1. And what I'm going to do with this, very simply, I'm going to call up a preset, copy it, save it to another location. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to scroll up to preset number six, because that's the one I'm going to copy and save today. That would be Sweet Clean Phase. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lock that tone in. And you can use any one of these buttons once you once it's flashing. All you have to do is click either one, two, three, or four. So once you have the tone locked in, then you're going to find the location that you want it saved to. And we had already discussed we were going to go to 224, which currently I have set up as Dirty Chorus. So now that it's flashing, you're going to come over here and you're going to hit the second button. And then you're going to hit Store. And look at that. Switched it over. 224 is now Sweet Clean Phase, which was at number 6. It's still at number 6. We've just copied it and saved it to 224. So now let's say we want to change something, one of the parameters, anything on it. We can do that very simply. Say the output level is minus 30 dB, which it is. And we want to change that to maybe doing, oh, I don't know, minus 10 dB. So now we've changed that. How do you save it? Same buttons. And you go second and then store. Very simple. Let's go back to that. Output level was at minus 30 dB. It's now minus 10. And you could do that with any of the parameters. You can change any of these. If you want to, say, turn off the reverb, you click the button that says reverb off. You come back over here, you hit second, and then you hit store. I'm not going to turn the reverb off and save that. I just wanted to show you that's how you do it. Any changes that you make, hit second and then store. So the next thing I would want to look into is maybe changing the name of it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll through here. And like I said, any of these parameters can be changed, tweaked, whatever you want to do to them. You're going to come up to where it's his name and it's got the underline on it. And that's... Very simple. Now you just dial in whatever letter you want to do. So we'll, we'll call this test. So you go with value to change the letter or character and then parameter to move the location of where you're going. All right, very simple. So now we go in here, we'll find another E. I got to go backwards, don't I? Yeah, I do. So let's go back, we'll find the another E. Scoots over here, get ourselves the S. And then we'll go over to here, get a T. Very simple. And it's got characters, it's got uppercase, it's got lowercase, all that good stuff. And then we'll just go over here and we'll just find, uh, I don't know, just grab something, space, something. It can be anything really. All right, we'll just do that. Okay? And then again, to save it, second, store. Now, if I was to go up, so yeah, sweet clean on, on preset one, preset 224 now is test. Very simple. Have any questions or comments, leave them below. I hope this helps.